Yo, it's me again. I'm smoking in the woods this time. I walked to the store because my boyfriend again pissed me the fuck off. Now, I don't like talking shit. Because I really don't talk shit about people, but... This motherfucker irritates me so bad I want to fucking knock him upside the head. Now, him and my mother's arguing today because I clogged the sink by putting food in it when there's a dis there but it clogs it up I knew better but I did it anyway I mean like my mom bitches 24 hours a day he bitches 24 hours a day then they bitch at each other so I said you guys could fucking bitch at each other all day I'm leaving so I left I've said some really mean things to my boyfriend though like some fucked up shit when he's pissed me off but he's done some shit that's pissed me he says shit that i just fucking cannot handle so nice old me i don't know i obviously don't want him to leave because he's still here i tell him to get the fuck out all the time leave or i'll leave he won't he wants to torture me, man. <laughs> I've been tortured my whole life from motherfuckers. Not just men, just life. As we all know, living life is not easy. I mean, come on, I was married 13 years. When that motherfucker hurt his back every fucking second I turned around, he couldn't work. I was supporting his ass. Then I got married to the my second husband and a year later he got bone cancer and we literally literally lived in hospitals for 15 years straight we lived at moffitt and tampa for a year and a half in the hospitals i mean 24 7 we lived in the hospitals he had half a skull removed two ribs removed bone marrow transplants neuropathy he had i had to have he had ports inside his chest outside his chest I raised his daughter first chair and violin from the time she was eight till the time she I moved out and she was 21 so yeah I'm about over it and I left it I left an asshole with cancer and I've ended up with two assholes since then that don't have cancer I don't even get my own self people tell me tell me <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> I mean I try to be nice and caring and loving and respectable and then I just fucking, I'm over it. I don't give a fuck if you're in a shitty mood, bad mood today, your fucking asshole's falling off. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so that's the point I am with this guy, and it's a point I've been at for years. I've been with him eight years, and I don't know what the fuck. I think he, just, he keeps me stable, for one, because I'd be out partying and drinking and whatever, and I'm not with him. Now, my husband that's got bone cancer is still alive. He's going to outlive me, and he loves me unconditional. He don't give a fuck what I ever did. He never hold it against me. He worships and respects me. I wish he would have done that when I was with him, but, hey, I mean, he was young, too. He was 31 when he had cancer, and he went through fucking hell, let me tell you. But I supported him with ever, never bitching, did everything for him. And then I get together with this asshole and I get sick. So I haven't been able to work hardly at all for the last two years and he throws it in my face. He's a dick. Fucking getting tired of motherfuckers. And him and my mother, they just bitch and bitch and bitch about everything. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why people do what they do, but they do. So let's just... I got somebody next to me. I was going to say blaze it, but now I can't. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Keep picking up trash. It's a beautiful thing. So give me your opinion on relationships and all that stuff. Could you guys? Maybe that'll help me. <laughs> but maybe not.
needless to say, I'm still happy. I'm sitting here by myself with you guys. The cyber world I love more than anybody because they never talk back and they're always nice to me.